we're going to tie up and glow in the dark. Same one, squirmy wormy. What I have here, hook size is that's a uh, size 12U202 um, uh, scut hook with a uh, 2.8 millimeter bead tungsten gold. Now, I gotta try it. It's gonna be hard for me to do it on this angle for the camera to see, but you wanna tie in your thread. I'll bring it back pretty far. I get get my hook covered up pretty darn going good. Tie again. Now you're gonna finish this bead. You're gonna finish this tie up at the front. So you need to slide that bead back about a bead's length. I might have went a little more than a bead's length and tie it in by crossing over a couple times. And come back. Bring the thread back to your curve. Grab your squirmy wormy. I like to leave about an inch and a half off the back. And we're going to do a pinch knot. And just let the weight of the bobbin drop down and snug this squirmy up. Because if you, if you pull too tight, you'll cut it. Plus it'll roll on you. Alright. I know my fingers are in the way. Snug that. Bring your thread up in there. Get it up there to butt it. Bring your thread up to the bead. Alright. Now we take squirmy. We're going to wrap. And what that's going to do is push. See how it's pushing the squirmy back to my thread wrap? Just like so. Hold that over on that side once again. Just letting the bobbin put the pressure on it and the reason why I'm holding this over here is if I don't it's gonna want to fall back like it just did so then you take a couple up front like that that holds it on top see what I'm saying bring it over the bead sorry get your thread on this side of the bead bring your squirmy over the other side of your bead once again just by the weight of the bobbin just pulling a little little tension there pull back finish off your head like so all right i like to tuck this it fits perfectly right there for me get this out of the way see i tuck that in there like that so it's out of the way. Now, put a couple whips in there. I use my fingers. I like using my fingers better. I put four. Cut that thread. I like to cut squirmy, same length as my tag. There you have it. Squirmy, wormy, same one. Now, I cut them long like that. Better to have it long than short. Figure out what they want that day. If they're nipping the ends and tips off of it, then you can trim them down. But there you go. That's your glow in the dark. Show you what it looks like. There you go. That's your glow in the dark. Same one. Squirmy, wormy.